Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're taking a look at the Xbox Game Showcase, of course, featuring Battlefield 2042. Incoming fire! Attention all squads, the Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. Push them back, but not far enough. Do not let them regroup. Alright guys, so over on Westy's channel, he had it set up for 4K, I had it set for 1080p, but nonetheless we can take a brief look at what he had in 4K, which of course came across very impressively, and I'm kind of very excited about Battlefield, I was very much looking forward to it when Battlefield 5 was coming around, but of course it ended up being a World War II game, which is totally fine, but... I prefer more of a modern shooter. Now, here's some of the footage we saw that was kind of leaked and or teased yesterday on the social media platforms for DICE and or Battlefield. Of course, we obviously have helicopters, which is awesome. And I believe this was the shot of the grappling hook, which is very reminiscent of Landmark. But the grappling hook, I think, is going to be very interesting. I like that sort of feature, so that is kind of a, kind of a new thing. And here's kind of one of the, I guess it's kind of a, Osprey type plane or vehicle uh, without the propellers. I think the way that lands is pretty cool. It's got those little kind of reverse engine jets. Then, of course, tank play because you can't have Battlefield without tank play. And, of course, shooting a uh, helicopter, which can be challenging but can be done. And here we're seeing uh, the hourglass, I believe it was called, the city that's uh, in Cutter. Beautiful lighting. I'm, I was trying to think of whether or not I had my uh, night uh, monitor setting <laughs> for Windows, but I think it's I think it's on full. It looks like it's all white here. And of course, the classic elevator scene, which we are familiar with from Battlefield 4, and Westy kept laughing every time he saw it, which is always entertaining. Here's some of the uh, Levolution, I guess, weather event coming in, kind of a sandstorm, tornado. And of course, the uh, vehicle uh, type uh, the reason I'm hesitant is because, of course, it starts with a J. Of course, we know what we call it, you know, the J Jeep 
feature type thing that we do. We can't say that anymore, uh, but nonetheless, uh, here's some more of the helicopter play. That looks like some repelling going on, and of course, the wingsuit. Very cool. Going into the, uh, you know, the sandstorm tornado, whatever's going on there, but uh, another one of the jet ospreys getting sucked up by the tornado. There's a helicopter. Looks like it's about to uh, get sucked in there and maybe get knocked over and smashed into the other one. And, of course, the snow map. I like snow maps myself. Here's the Indian or the Indian shipyard map. And, of course, the rocket. And as I understand it, it's uh, part of the gameplay, I guess, for the conclusion of that map is that the, you either stop the rocket from taking off or you try to uh, keep repel the opposing team to ensure the rocket doesn't take off. But there you have it, guys. The newest release trailer gameplay footage from Battlefield 2042. Very exciting stuff. So you guys let me know down in the comments if you plan to pre-order the game. What are your thoughts on the game? Opinions? Are you ready for a modern futuristic shooter from Battlefield? And do you think the team has had enough time to iron out some of the possible bugs and other little issues that we experience as game players? Now, of course, until we can get into the beta itself, we're not going to know exactly how it's going to feel. Now, a lot of people are pointing out the really neat looking clean HUD. I kind of like that. You get a lot of ability to v to see what's going on, to view the action there. And, of course, you see we have a four-man squad with an indicator there. I guess, uh, like kind of like right now in the middle, you see, I can't see what uh, flag position that is, but uh, it's supposed to have like an up kind of arrow if something is behind you, including a player, as well as we saw kind of a sniper shot looking down or ADSing, you can actually get the range of the person as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Very clean UI. Gotta like it. It might it might take a little adjusting for the new mini-map. I've not had a lot of time to really dissect all of what you can or can't see within that mini-map. Of course, you probably can expand it. You can maybe even move some of the UI around. It's really hard to say, but everyone seems to be very impressed with the cleaner, wider look. We haven't seen the compass yet, and as we understand it, uh, the compass is going to be down towards the bottom. Now, here you can see the uh, comma rows uh, that the player is using. Maybe this was gameplay footage from an Xbox, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, the comma rows can be a little different on PC, but I don't typically use the comma rows when I'm playing on PC. I just kind of have everything kind of hot keyed, but there we got to see the uh, classic uh, elevator scene from Battlefield 4 with the uh, elevator music and then the common rows popping up here. And just some building action, which is very common. And, of course, they want to show off the wingsuit here. I was kind of thinking maybe they're... I couldn't tell whether or not a guy had repelled across, but that's something that we're accustomed to, especially uh, in Call of Duty, for example. There's the little mini uh, battery-operated, uh, friendly... What is it? Uh, Climate-friendly vehicle. And then, of course, the big sandstorm. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Uh, are you going to pre-order? I, I saw a bunch of other trailers, and I was talking to some of the other YouTube creators, and, of course, they go into their, don't order the game, don't order, don't pre-order, never pre-order. That's kind of like this uh, reoccurring mantra that a lot of gamers have now. But, obviously, in time, they're going to order the game. People are going to order the game. They're going to play it. And as someone who covers the game, of course, I'm going to purchase it and going to pre-order so I can make it into the beta. But I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this uh, trailer. How excited are you for it? Are you going to pre-order or not? I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comment. And of course, guys, if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.